Hello there, Lake County Library. This is Christy Lewis from the Lakeport Branch, and today we're going to be talking about some great graphic novels. We have graphic novels for children today. They're for children of all ages, so we're going to start off with books for younger readers below middle grade age. They'll be through preschool age to grade three, which is around ages four to eight and I will let you know which age these books are each appropriate for. So let's jump into it. And then our next section is going to be a group of middle grade graphic novels that have been actually adapted from novels. So if your kids like the graphic novels, there's a whole nother novel series to read as well. Before I jump into all the titles and author names, I just wanna let you know that they are all listed down below in the description. So you can copy and paste them directly into the Lake County Library's online catalog also linked down below. You can order these books for free to the branch of your choice. You just have to give us a little bit of information so that we can contact you when the book arrives. We also have all kinds of amazing free digital resources on our website, including we just got free access to Mango Languages, which is incredible. We also have free book clubs. So all that information is on our website. Definitely check it out down below. There's so much amazing stuff on there. Okay, let's jump into the early reader books first. So first we have The Big Cheese by Janie Trasler. And in The Big Cheese, a mouse named Figgy and a rat named Boone discover a big wheel of cheese. They try to push it up the hill to their house, but it keeps rolling down the hill. Then they get an idea to use teamwork and sharing to save the day. The Big Cheese is appropriate for ages four through six and grades preschool through grade one. And it is level one in the easy reader categories. The Big Cheese is also available on ebook. Next we have Worm and Caterpillar Are Friends by Kaz Windness. Worm and Caterpillar Are Friends celebrates the beauty of true friendship. Worm loves how the friends are just alike, but Caterpillar has a feeling there's a big change coming. When Caterpillar turns into a butterfly, can the two still be best friends? Worm and Caterpillar Are Friends is best for ages four through six and grades preschool through one. And it is level one in the easy reader categories. Next we have School Day Drama by Jennifer Fosbury. Classmates Chi Chi and Pepe are as different as night and day. Chi Chi is a chicken who likes cheese puffs and cheerleading. Pepe is a penguin who likes pirates and pogo sticks. If these two can find some common ground and become friends, anything is possible. School day drama is best for ages four through six and grades preschool through one, and it is level one in the easy reader categories. Next, we're moving on to books for ages five through seven in grades kindergarten through second grade. And this is level two of the easy reader categories. The first one is There Might Be a Kazoo Emergency by Heidi E. Y. Stemple. Gregory likes to be equipped for any situation and carries several essential items in his backpack, like a feather duster, a colander, and even a kazoo. When his school bus gets into trouble, Gregory wonders if this might be the emergency he was prepared for. There might be a kazoo emergency is for ages five through seven and grades kindergarten through second grade, and it's level two in the easy reader categories. Next, we have Sticks and Scones and the Sticky Wand by Jay Cooper. Two witches' pets get into some magical mischief in this first book in the Sticks and Scones series. When a witch leaves her wand out by mistake, Scones the dog thinks it's a stick and wants to play with it, and Sticks the cat joins in on the fun, creating a magical mess. Sticks and Scones and the Sticky Wand is for ages 5 through 7, grades K through 2, and it's level 2 in the easy reader categories. Next, we have one book for ages six through eight, grades one through three, and that is The Doggy Defendant by Milo Stone. In this second book of the Judge Kim and the Kids Court series, Kim's dog Digger gets blamed for creating a mess at a birthday party. Can Digger's innocence be proven, or is Digger not the good boy that Kim thought he was? The Doggy Defendant is best for ages six through eight and grades one through three, and it's also available on ebook. Next, we'll jump into our middle grade graphic novels category. Now, all of these books have been adapted from actual middle grade novels. So, and now they are made into graphic novels. So our first graphic novel adapted from a novel is Zeus and the Thunderbolt of Doom, which is the first installment of the Heroes in Training series, adapted by David Campiti and created by Joan Holub. After pulling a magical thunderbolt from a stone, Zeus is on a quest to rescue his fellow Olympians from the evil Cronus. Zeus and the Thunderbolt of Doom is also available on ebook. Next we have Goddess Girls, Athena the Brain, book one of the Goddess Girls series, adapted by David Campiti and created by Joan Holub. 
When Athena is whisked away to Mount Olympus Academy, she worries about fitting in and dealing with her dad, Zeus. Luckily, she meets the goddess girls, the best friends she's ever had. Next we have Katie and the Cupcake Cure by Coco Simon. Katie is miserable when her best friend is invited to join the popular girls club and Katie is left out. Luckily, Katie finds her way with a great new group of friends, Mia, Emma, and Alexis, and together they become the Cupcake Club. Katie and the Cupcake Cure is also available on ebook. Next we have Creepover Truth or Dare by PJ Knight. During a round of Truth or Dare at a sleepover, Abby Miller confesses her crush on Jake Chilson. Then some very creepy things begin to happen, and she gets a text message warning her to stay away from Jake, or else. Creepover is also available on ebook. Next we have Arcade World Race to the Finish, which is volume 5 in a series following Travis, Journey, and Devante, three friends who use their gaming know-how to protect their town from video games that have come to life. In volume 5, the friends must race against each other, hoping to place first, second, and third. Arcade World is also available on ebook. Next we have Legend of the Yearling by Roan Black, which is volume 1 of the Guardians of Horsa series, which gives Avatar the Last Airbender an equine twist. Four young horses from clashing herds must join forces to find a magical yearling who, according to prophecy, will unite them and restore the balance to Horsa. Legend of the Yearling is also available on ebook. And finally, we have Legion of Lava by Jordan Quinn, which is volume 9 in the Dragon Kingdom of Renly series, which follows a scarlet dragon named Breskin as he navigates magical quests, adventures, mysterious prophecies, and of course, all the dragons young readers could want. Legion of Lava is also available on ebook. That is it guys, I hope that you enjoyed this book haul of graphic novels for kids, and if you order any of these, let us know down below if you have any questions, we'd really love to hear from you. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.